I was 23 years old. I had finished uh, nursing school and I had finished uh, getting my degree. And at that time, this is 1965, the Peace Corps was a big thing. They invited you to a country. And uh, so I got the invitation and they said, you've been invited to do nursing and uh, teach nursing in Afghanistan. I said, okay. <laughs> So anyway, that was the beginning and halfway around the world. But I had never been in an airplane at that point in my life. Next thing I know, I was going to Afghanistan. We started a school of nursing in a small hospital in mazar -e sharif Afghanistan. We taught with the help of the Afghan doctors. We taught 15 students and uh, at the end of two years, um, seven of those students went on to the Kabul to the capital city to do a year of midwifery and then they came back to mazar -e sharif There were seven Americans in the town and obviously we were all good friends. My husband, he finished his two years. He came back to the United States. He was teaching in the Philadelphia school system and going to Penn for his master's degree. He asked me to marry him and I said, I think that's the right thing to do. <laughs> <laughs> and 50 years later, here we are. <laughs> Someone contacted him and asked him to come back to do in-country training. And so we debated and we decided, let's give that a try. So we went back and we took our son with us. We were there for about a year, a year and a half more. And we decided it was time to go home and, and start a different life. <laughs> I met Lily in 2011, a neighbor of ours um, who kind of knew everyone but we all didn't know each other, went around and asked all the different neighbors if they'd like to be part of a book club. She's always helpful uh, in many ways to, to neighbors but one of the things that she does um, is she volunteers and as part of her volunteering she takes people who are elderly or can otherwise can't get themselves to things like doctor's appointments and shopping and things of that nature. You know, she's retired. She could just be sitting back and reading books or doing other things that she would enjoy doing, but she's still giving part of herself back to the community. We have a lot, you know, a couple of neighbors that go down to Florida for the winter, and Lily waters plants for neighbors, gets mail for neighbors, you know, she does that kind of thing very willingly and will ask people if there's something she can do for them while they're away. The Peace Corps was something I always wanted to do, but never had the guts to do it. So when I found out she did that, I thought, wow, that's really something, that somebody would give up their life to do that. I've been very fortunate to have had the life that I've had. But sometimes when things are comfortable for, for you, then you can give to others. Although I marvel again at the people who are struggling and beyond that struggle, they continue to give. And you know, they're the gold star winners.